by superposition method and Cassiliano second theorem. So I will apply Cassiliano second theorem for superposition method later. Compute the support reactions. EI is 60,000 kilonewton meter square. Although the answer or the idea will be the same. So this is the figure. Then because of unequal settlements, especially at B, this should have been the normal, call that RA, RB, and R sub C. This is the uh, beam. And if the deflection here is equal to the average of 30 and 40 because B is the center, 4 meters from the left, sorry, 8 meters from the left support, 8 meters from the right support, so B is the center. If this is 35 mm, the average of 30 and 40, not 50 mm, then the settlements or the yielding of the supports do not affect the final reactions of the beam because we have what we call proportional yielding of the supports. But because this is 50, then the reactions, especially at B, will be affected. So this should be 35 so that it is like a beam with no yielding at all, with no yielding of supports at all. But because this is 50, then it can affect the reaction at B. So that's 35 mm, the average of 30 and 40, or by similar triangles, you can get that. So therefore, this is 15 mm. So this is the normal, uh, normal beam and it deflects downward further by 15 mm. So since the deflection is downward and the force is upward, the displacement is downward, the force, the reaction is upward, then opposing values, remember work is supposed to be positive if the force and the displacement are in the same direction. Therefore, we treat 15 mm as negative because it is opposite to this assumed direction of RB. So partial of, remember partial of work with respect to the redundant force RB is deflection. And the deflection is negative 0 0.015. So summation moment at C to express reaction at A in terms of RB is RA times 16 plus RB times 8 minus 50 times 12 minus 40 times 8 times 4. So RA in terms of RB equals 117.5 minus 0.5 RB. So imagine that RB is the force. So this is our sectioning by conjugate P method. Let's just have going to the right because we haven't expressed RC in terms of RB. You can have sectioning here from C to this section if RC were expressed in terms of RB. Take note that this is indeterminate to the first degree only, so there is only one redundant. So it should be, RC should also be expressed in terms of RB. So delta B is partial of U with respect to RB equals negative 0 0.015. So that's the net value here. So that in applying RB, the redundant, the moment at the section, EI negative 0 0.015 equals integral from 0 to 4 of RA, which is 117.5 minus 0.5 RB. The moment is x, then the derivative of this moment equation with respect to RB is negative 0.5x dx. Then plus in this section, integral 0 to 4 of quantity 117.5 minus 0.5 RB times 4 plus x, then minus 50x, the derivative is negative 0.5 of 4 plus x dx. 
Then finally, in this section, plus integral 0 to 8 of quantity 117.5 minus 0.5 RB times 8 plus X minus 50 times 4 plus X plus RB times X minus 20 X squared. Moment of this uniform load. Then the derivative is negative 0.5 of 8 plus X plus X. We have RBX here, so plus X. So computing the integral of, by the way, EI is 60,000 times negative 0 0.015, and that is equal to negative 900. Then integrating an integral of 117.5x times negative 0.5x dx from 0 to 4, the value is negative 3760 over 3. Then for RB, negative 0.5x times negative 0.5x, the integral 0 to 4 is positive 16 thirds RB. Then for the constant in this integral, integral of 0 to 4, 117.5 times 4 plus x minus 50x close times negative 0.5 of 4 plus x close dx. That's negative 7, 4, 4, 0. Then the integral of negative 0.5, 4 plus x times negative 0.5, 4 plus x. Or integral of quantity negative 0.5, 4 plus x dx quantity square is from 0 to 4 is 112 over 3 rb. And here, integral 0 to 8 of 117.5 times 8 plus x minus 54 plus x minus 20 x squared times quantity negative 0.5 of 8 plus x plus x from 0 to 8. That value is negative 339 to 0 over 3. And then the integral of negative 0.5 of 8 plus x plus x then times negative 0.5 of 8 plus x plus x or simply Integral of quantity negative 0.5 of 8 plus x plus x quantity square 0 to 8 in terms of RB is 1 to 8 over 3 RB. Combining like terms or solving for RB, it is 2 to 3.828 kilonewtons. Then for R sub C and R, RA and RC, RA is 117.5 minus 0.5 of to 3.828 so our sub a is 5.586 kilonewtons and for our sub c summation versus y so 5.586 plus 2 to 3.828 plus r sub c equals or minus 50 minus 40 times 8 equals 0 so r sub c is 140.586 kilonewtons then for Casiglianos theorem, this is actually method of list work where we combine the reaction and the reaction at B so that the net deflection is 15. Now for Casiglianos theorem, we totally remove this support so that it will deflect freely as shown. So this is the beginning. Imagine this is the beam and it will deflect in this manner. So don't mind the 35 anymore because this is supposed to be the horizontal beam. This can be treated horizontal because this yielding of support is very small. So that's the normal beam, which is this. Then we apply an upward force P. We solve for the reactions here in terms of P. That will be 117.5 minus 0.5b because p is at the center so therefore the reaction at c is 252.5 minus 0.5b this 252.5 is simply 117.5 i'm oh sorry 50 plus 40 times 8 minus 117.5 so you get 252.5 due to the actual loadings then the contribution of B, because it is at the center, so we have minus 0.5B. So our sectioning would be here, here, and here, this line. So it will deflect upward due to P. Oh, sorry, it will deflect downward rather, because our assumption is upward deflection at B. So EI, 
deflection at B due to the load is integral 0 to 4 of 117.5 minus 0.5 B times X. The derivative is negative 0.5 X DX. Then plus integral 0 to 4 of 117.5 minus 0.5 B times 4 plus X minus 50 X. Then derivative is negative 0.5 4 plus X DX. Finally, in this section, plus integral 0 to 8 of quantity 252.5 minus 0.5 B times X minus 20 X square. Derivative negative 0.5 X DX. So prior to integration, take note that P is invented. So that is 0. So this is just integral of 117.5 times negative 0.5 X 0 to 4. And the value is negative 3760 over 3. So this is set to 0. The value here is negative 7440. It's the same here. And the value here, although the equation is different because that's from this section to this section. So this verifies that if you shift section, same section actually, but different uh, forces just to the right, the result should be the same also. So set P0, then the value of the integral is negative 3, 3, 9, 20 over 3 also. So that means EI delta B. 60,000 times delta B left is negative 20,000. So theta B due to the load is negative one third meter or negative 1,000 over 3 mm. So that's the deflection from this point down. From this point down, that's negative 1,000 over 3. Now when RB is applied, it should deflect not to this point point or to this level but rather up to here because there is a downward uh, yielding net downward yielding at V of 15 mm so 1000 over 3 mm is from this point up to here then when RB is applied it should deflect by this upward by this amount absolute value of this then minus 15 it will deflect only up to this because this is the final position of support B. So that means delta B due to the load is 1000 over 3 mm downward. And due to RB, it should deflect 1000 over 3 minus 15 due to the reaction. Then you have to subtract 15. So it will deflect back only up to this level or 1000 over 3 minus 15. And that is... 955 over 3 mm or 191 over 600 meter. Remember from previous results that for simply supported beam loaded with concentrated load at the center, the deflection is load at the center P L cube over 48 EI. So I uh, we I had an example on this review on double integration and area moment and conjugate P method when the load is at the center, PL cube over 48 EI. In this case, the P is RB. It is at the center because that's 4 meters and that's, uh, that's 8 meters, that's 8 meters also. L is 16. So 191 over 600 equals RBL cube over 48EI. So 191 over 600 equals RB 16 cube over 48 times 60,000. So from here we can solve RB. Let's check it is it should be equal to 223.828 kilonewtons. So the rest of the reactions are computed by statics in the same manner as this. So I will not show it anymore because the solution will be the same. You sum up moment about C, you can solve for RA, and then summation forces Y, you can solve for RC. Or summation moment about A equals 0, you can solve for RC. Then you check summation forces Y if it is 0. So that's it for this problem.